And again, alpha transparency gives me, essentially makes this into an alpha mat. Now, if I wanted to reverse that transparency, I could actually go in there and do that. Um, is it likes to decide what it takes out and what it doesn't. So if you look here, we have a straight Luma key. As I bring down the opacity, you'll notice it's a very sharp divide. But this is similar to that, except I can actually trim how much of that is showing. So I can allow just the white circle of the underground symbol to show, or I can bring in more and slowly bring in exactly what I want. If you hit inverse Luma, this works the other way around. It pulls the whites out, pulls your alpha out. And you can control the level that that does that to you. Now we have an additive, which this works the way addition works in Photoshop, where as you bring down the opacity, you'll notice that Jackie actually the image actually is burning on top of Jackie. What I like to call burning on top of Jackie, where it actually highlights what's going on over here. And as you pull that out more and more it becomes less prominent. Now if I want to use Lighten as I pull down, it does essentially that. When at full, op full opacity, it darkens. As you pull back, it lightens the image. Darken obviously does the opposite. And if I pull back on that, you can see Jackie showing through the arrows. We also have inverse Luma key, which I believe I showed off. The push down, which this is pretty simple it pushes the image up and down I don't use this one a lot it's kind of cheesy but it can be effective sometimes then we have a straight transparency which has no opacity setting to it at all it just automatically does what it says it will this creates a 3d cube again really only useful if you're trying to go for that kind of cornball look, but it's good to know that it's there. We also have a transition which can do various different transitions. I think if you double click this it'll actually, if you right click, context click, you'll notice right here there's a bunch of different transitions that come up. This one's kind of a crazy band slide. I can choose this. This is a text filter which I can actually, I should be able to go into it and actually edit it. Right now it's not letting me do that. And then there's a mask, which you can also change up what the mask looks like. You can do kind of a vignette type thing, a little silhouette. And of course, some shameless plugs from the creator of the software. So when it comes to mixing basic video, you want to organize your decks and load them in each time you play. Make sure you save those decks and know where they are so that when it comes time to do your set, all you have to do is load them. Again, I'm Bill Holland for GearWire.com, and I'll be back with more on Resolume.